Well, today, today I'm supposed to be going down to a place called Wazi near Zavievce. Uh, and actually, it's starting the wedding of my friend Przemek and his wife, maybe by now already, um, Katya Zilieznova. Zilieznova or Zilieznova? Przemek Gola and Zilieznova, that's right, Katya Zilieznova. And very sadly, I've had queue after queue after queue. This is the third set of either roadworks or accident that I've had on this row. Each of them's taken an hour, with the result that even though I set off nice and early, I haven't made it, which is very sad because you only get married once hopefully. And what I was going to do was take a film of the whole thing for them. Hopefully they've got somebody else doing it. This is very sad. I really would have liked to be there. I hope that when I... D I'm going there anyway, but whether there'll be anybody there by the time I get there now is really rather questionable. This is absolutely hopeless. The road has been the worst I can ever remember this road being. I never had. It's the equivalent of going to Katowice. Uh, oh, this is your typical thing you have to do. I'm not really sure that I'm allowed to take that when this happens, but there we go. I'll do it anyway because they're annoying me. As you see, the important people are able to get through anyway. People who consider themselves important have to award themselves cars like that and entourages. They can go. The rest of us have to wait. Could be a wedding, could be anything. These guys could just be going home for their supper, but they can go. And so, yeah. I was going to say something before they came along, and I can't remember what it was. But basically, the roads just get worse and worse. I can't remember. It's, it's the equivalent of going to Katowice in about five or six hours. As I'm not yet, yet, there yet, so I'm not going to show. And I've never taken more than four hours over it. And uh, usually it's closer to three hours. But this time it's going to be closer to about five and a half hours equivalent of going to Katowice, which is I've never done in that in that space of time, not ever since, you know, well, actually probably never. Uh, not in the summer anyway. Maybe in maybe in the winter with the with the snow and everything, yes, yes, I can imagine that. But uh, today it's just been queue after queue after queue. There's just too many cars, that's what it comes down to. Don't anybody talk to me about petrol prices being too high? when there are more and more cars. There are too many cars for the roads. And I only take one kind of trip like this once in a, in a blue moon now because I do all I can to avoid using the car, but this is... this is out in the countryside a little bit, this wazzy place, so I can't, uh, I can't go there by train easily. Can I talk on it? Probably. At the end, they have to do something to get there over over land, or rather, you know, in a, by road. So it's, uh, it's it's absolutely hopeless. It's barely moving. This is the third time that I've encountered this on the road. Didn't expect it. Yes, I could have had one. I could probably got away with two, but the third one, like this. Sorry, Tremek and Katya, but I did everything that I would normally do to get to this part of the world on time, and that's what happened. 
and I hope I see you today. So here I am, I don't know, 30 minutes later, still not at Shevish, which is the first place I could turn off. And I will turn off here. There's the uh, suggestion by this machine is that I turn off a bit later, but uh, that means staying on this awful road for even longer. So I'll turn off here. But of course it already started 30 minutes ago and uh, I ain't going to make it. I've been two hours, uh, more than two hours, probably about two and a half hours at the moment in queues today um, of traffic. So, uh, and it all would have been worth it if I could have been only there. But when you don't see it after putting all that work in and you then you don't see your friend's wedding, then uh, it's very disheartening. And they might think I didn't bother. But I did. And now in retrospect I can tell that if I was to get there on time I'd have had to have left at about 10 o'clock this morning and that's something that you'd never do I mean if you if, if anybody said well, what time did you leave to get to Wazi and I said 10 o'clock in the morning then you know to get to 1600 hours and people say well what what were you planning on doing on the way must have been planning to stop off for a couple of picnics on the way down or something what was, why give that much time and so that's why you know I, I left at 12 that just wasn't enough, and it always would be. And then a Friday night's making it worse, of course, but uh, that's all of those different things, roadworks, accidents, all those things put together. And weighted traffic. It's just, uh, I never, I've never queued into Shevish for this long. That's the first thing. I never queued this long into Shevish. So it's uh, something I've never experienced, this sort of thing. And I think I'll turn off towards Avierche here to avoid getting into any more of this stuff later. I don't know if it's just these traffic lights are not in sync here or if there's more queuing after this. It's impossible to tell. So at the last minute before turning off I saw that yes the queue carried on down that road so there's nothing, no, no purpose in going there so I've decided to turn off here in Zavierce and follow the road down, uh, the country road down to well, so this is Shevish so I'm, I'm looking for Zavierce, this is still telling me to turn back because it's it's trained to or it's, it's tuned to do things a quick way so uh, I'm going to get on the route 78 and go to Zavierce. Turn back there. where possible. Okay, this is all I need right now. In 120 meters, turn right, then next right. Nice market square. Take next right, then next right. an accident. Mystery. Here I am at the address given on the invitation. And it says it only works till 1500. Whereas the invitation clearly says 1600. So, and there's nobody here. So after having come all this way, I now discover that it's actually to strasznie, ale, ale widzę, że to jest tylko do 15, więc po prostu tak, tak ale o, o 16 ślub, no to, to jest, jak jest okay. sam mówiony. A, no rozumiem, okej. Okay. 
A, no to niestety już poszły sobie. A gdzie by one poszły, żeby zrobić fotografię i tak dalej? Nie mam pojęcia, wie pan, no, trudno powiedzieć, bo nikt nie mówi. Okej, okay, dobrze, dziękuję. Hmm. She was kind enough to answer the door and say that there had been a wedding that finished after half an hour and uh, they were all gone, so that's just too late for anything. So there you go. But she was kind enough to explain it all to me, that they'd been there, so otherwise I would have thought that uh, that was sent on a wild goose chase, although I'm sure Pshemek wouldn't do that to me. He's a good guy. In fact, let me tell you about Pshemek. He's the person behind something called Protestanchi, dot org I think that's the one or is it protestanci.pl anyway he's one of the most visible Polish Protestants on the internet so I don't think he would do anything silly like that but you know you never know he might have been up for a laugh I don't know but I don't think so anyway it turns out he wasn't because I have got married and I just like to say at this junction okay just to prove I came here here I am and uh, this isn't uh, photo montage I really came here here's the car my car and here's, here's the place you got married in, Przemek. So let me just zhilar you, you all the very, 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 very best. I've got my card in, in the pocket with a little present for you. I don't know when I'm going to see you to give it to, to you, but uh, no doubt I will. Um, what a pity. What a pity. But there we go. That's, that's very unexpected on the roads. You can get that and that meant... But at any rate, I've got my record and you'll be able to watch it and have a laugh and hopefully you'll have a laugh over it and won't be annoyed with me that I didn't make it. Uh, you can see that I put the effort in and, um, well, hopefully we're still mates even though I didn't make it to your wedding. You can see I tried. I saw them. I didn't have time to film my seeing them, but I've, I've seen them just outside this place so I was passing. I want to give them a surprise now because they probably thought oh, it's all over. But I managed to get myself parked there and here we go. Совет о любовь. No entry. Danger of death. That's an old brickworks. Disused now, and as with every disused building, you could get things fall down on your head. Not exactly the raindrops in the song which Gene Kelly dances to, or whatever, whoever is dancing. As you can see, no, it would make an excellent spot for some kind of interesting adventure film. You can see people running around in there and chasing each other around it. 
and bits of the timbers of the roof all falling on their heads while they're doing it. That would make a great set, wouldn't it, as I say, a great set. So. And here we are. So we turn from that great set to another great set. This time a great set of people gather round a table to celebrate the wedding of my friends who are now man and wife. Behold him there in the risen lamb, my perfect spotless righteousness, the great unchangeable I am, the King of glory and of grace. One with himself I cannot die, my soul is purchased by his blood, my life is in with Christ on with Christ my Savior and my God With Christ my Savior and my God One with Himself I cannot die My soul is purchased by His blood My life is hid with Christ on high With Christ my Savior and my God with Christ my Savior and my Either the fish or that, in this case we've got both. Absolutely. With the barsh is the best, one of the best things you can have to give you a taste of Polish here, which is fish, or was, because it's mainly all gone now, but the, the fish in, in batter in the sort of almost lecho kind of covering, the Hungarian almost style, is called riba pogretska, which is fish the Greek way. I'm not sure how Greek that is, but it's what it's called, and it's actually a Polish specialty, very nice. Almost quite sweet, that sort of carroty and tomatoey sauce that's on it, made out of vegetables. 
Probably not that many weddings that you've been to where the bottles of wine are still full at the end of the wedding. But that's what you get when you have faithful people sitting together around the table.